So hi, this is um, Charles from nomadcharles.com. And Nicole from The Collective. And so Nicole's going to take us to a cave. <laughs> so this is one of the communal kitchens. So there's a kitchen on every floor in this building. Um, the kitchen comes fully really stocked with everything, pots, pans, cutlery, um, dishwasher. The kitchen's also cleaned by our cleaners. They clean the surfaces, they won't wash your dishes up. So the idea is you two down like you're at home, if you cook a meal, you wash up after yourself, the cleaners will come and kind of wipe the surfaces daily and the tables and do kind of like a thorough clean just for hygiene reasons obviously. Um, these are really good kitchens, so everyone has a kitchen in their room, but these are good kitchens if you want to cook with friends or if you want to have a dinner party or if you just want to cook a bigger meal and if you just want more space. Some people in London are not into their cooking because no one really has time these days, but the rare people that are really, really make use of these kitchens. I see. So I see you guys have an oven, a bunch of microwaves, yeah. um, a bunch of stoves, and yeah, there are so two stations. Of, it's an all-equipped kitchen, so it's everything you can you really need. So an oven, you can grill, stoves, the microwaves, the fridges, the freezers. You've got your own fridges and freezers in your room, but in case you, know, you have a spillover and you have more stuff, obviously we're very trustworthy. So you know, if you put your, your food in the fridge, you've got to kind of trust it. Mm -hmm. you know, the 500 people living in this building won't eat it and obviously we've got these signs everywhere because um, this is a building full of 500 people, there's multiple kitchens and the most difficult thing is keeping everything in each kitchen so we just ask that people obviously respect that with signs like, like this which they do actually adhere to. Awesome. So this is, this, people call these, this room different things, I call it the sports bar People call it the waiting room, people call it a lounge. Um, but either way, so this is basically a living room. Um, people like to cook in there and watch the sport. So when the Euros was on, this is a really, really popular room. Um, it's got Sky TV, as you can see. Um, it's just more like a chill out room, like you'd have the TV room in your own house. It's also a cool room because the reason it's called the waiting room is because it leads into this room. Mm. This room, the lights are off. Okay. Really dark in here. I'm really dark in here. Let's go in the green bags. I'm going to turn the light on. Okay. <laughs> you have a sea of bean bags. Yeah. Where are we now? So, this is the cinema room. So, this is one of the most popular rooms in the whole building. You can fit about 40 people in here. What we have here is you have Sky, you can connect your laptop to the to the projector, we've got a whole selection of DVDs which you can take out. We also have, so every Sunday night we have a, we watch a TV series as a community. We were, we were watching Game of Thrones, now we're watching Billions. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, I mm -hmm. haven't. But that's the, what's voted by the community. And every Tuesday night we've got community film night. So the community votes on a poll and they choose what film they want to watch. And that's a really popular event because we've got popcorn, we've got drinks. And then other than that, people can just use it how they wish. So if you want to book the TV room from a on a Friday from like 7 till 9, you can book it. Everyone can come in and watch with you because um, it's co-living, so you can't reserve it yourself. But you can choose what film you want to watch. Cool. And how many people can you fit in here? I think you can fit about 40 people in here, which we have done. It's been a really popular room this month with Wimbledon, the Euros. Um, so, yeah. And what's been the most like the biggest movie screening that you've had so far? The biggest movie screening yeah. that we've had so far, probably one of the England games in the Euros, mm -hmm. when everyone was in here, including staff members, including contractors, including residents. Um, I think people even stayed home to watch that game from work that day, so probably that. Wow. Cool. I think this is like the first... Um, co-living space that I've ever been in where you guys have like a full-out cinema room. Yeah, and the walls here, as you said, they're very, very soundproof. Yeah. So I don't know what this material is called, but they're, it's made specially, so they're soundproof. And you've got, um, you can plug in kind of um, turntables there and stuff like that, so it's like a DJ port. So essentially you can have a party in this room and it'll be completely soundproof, which is cool. Cool. Thanks for the tour. Bye.